Hey guys, first of all, thank you for clicking on my video. So, in my last video, I showed you guys my i3 window manager setup. And today, I will show you guys the configuration file. And before I start, I want to let you guys know that this is not a tutorial video. So, I will not cover things like what, what is i3 and where to con uh, do the configuration, etc, etc. And this is more like uh, showing you guys uh, what did I do to achieve that uh, this setup and I will try my best to explain to you guys what are these things uh, that I do uh, does and also this is the first part of the video and I will make this video into two parts so in this first part I will talk about uh, the things like key bindings and uh, Windows placement workspace etc and the second part will be more into the appearance and uh, the dimming, uh, the coloring, etc., and things like my raw config and uh, compositors and stuff. All right. So without further ado, let's get started. And this is uh, my current uh, configuration file. So the first thing is the key binding, and in here you can see that I set my uh, super key and alt key as mod variable and alt variable this is to make myself easier to read and to edit this file so instead of uh, remembering what mod 1 is what mod 4 is I'll just bind them into uh, like uh, alt variable here so if you see this alt variable it means that uh, use, uh, I use alt key and if I am using mod here like this so this is my super key right and the second one is floating modifier and I'm using alt key as my floating modifier floating modifier is the built-in function in i3 window manager if you want to know where to know or where to find this uh, functions list you can just go into the i3 user guide this uh, so you can uh, look at what what the options you got to set there and as I said before this is not a tutorial so I will not cover that up but floating modifiers is to set the, uh, the key to move and resize your window uh, your floating windows not your uh, tiling windows so this is the tiling windows by default but you can have a uh, floating window in i3 because this is a dynamic window manager right so for example I set my web browser as uh, floating like you can see here floating is always on top and you can move them around and I'm using like I did here I am using alt key to move them so alt and left click to move and alt, alt plus right click to resize like this alright and kill focus window I am using my uh, all F4 like you always do on your so I'm used to this by default it's uh, save and control and Q and sorry mod and save and Q so I use all F4 because it's easier for me to uh, to remember alright so bind save is also uh, the built-in function this is to do uh, key binding so for example you want to key bind uh, command you just use bind sim in i3 and all four and kill is the command to kill that window all right so change focus i'm using alt h j k l so h j k l uh, k l is the pip uh, i so by default is j k l and semicolon but uh, because i use fim so i make it to uh, use the film uh, key instead and I'm using alt by default is mode so uh, I set my setup to use alt a lot on the window uh, window changing and windows moving etc and things like that I am using alt key so by focus so for example I got two windows here I can use my mouse to focus but if I don't want to use my mouse this is I can just use alt and left and right H or H sorry I think I need to open this up alright so I use my alt uh, left arrow to focus my left 
window and I can use uh, L to focus right or my arrow key right to focus right and left like this so uh, now I'm here and I'm here like this so I can focus this here so alternatively uh, I also set it to use arrow key and move focus window I'm using alt shift so just like this and by moving it means that uh, so for example I am now in the my right window I want to move it to the left alt shift I just type alt shift and left so to move it there and I can also use my pin key like 3k l h like this and I can move it up and down like that right and split in orientation so uh, this so for, uh, by default it will open the window uh, on the right side and if you want to move it uh, if you want to open the window on the bottom of this uh, of this window you can focus on this window and then I'm using control alt and Q you can toggle with Q so I'm toggling now so now I uh, I toggle it to bottom so vertically and I can also use Alt Shift and H to switch it back. You can see the notification here because there is a notify sign here. And now, if I open up a window, it's uh, vertical. Sorry, I was wrong. So this is horizontal, and that is vertical. So I can make it like this, right? So by default, it's uh, horizontal. I was wrong. And next and preface words workspace so this is workspace I got my web workspace and web workspace and my left monitor I also got another workspace here so if I want to move around the workspace I'm using mod tab so mod and tab so I'm now here and there I can use mod shift and left and tab I can move it like this to previous workspace all right and the toggle first full screen Control Alt F like this. The focus window will be uh, full screen, and to switch it back, just press uh, press the combination again. Sorry, and to change the container layout. So by default, you are using a stacking layout. Like this is the stacking layout, and if I want to switch it to tab layout, I am using Control A or uh, W. Now it's tab tab. You can see that one tab and two tab. And I can also switch it to uh, split by E. Just make it split again. So I, I'm sorry. Uh, by default it was split. And I, if I want to change to stacking, I can do stacking. So stacking is like this. All right. And make it split again. And to toggle tiling and floating mod save space like I said before you can also make your windows float so mod super save and space now this window is float I can move them around and I can change it back to, uh, to the split split mode here and to focus so if I if I make it uh, uh, make it uh, float like I said before floating will always stay on top and if you want to focus on your uh, on your split windows or on the window there is not float uh, you can use mod space so super and space so now I'm on my here as you can see the cursor I have it again I'm now here and I'm now here right and then I bind this is to switch workspace so if I want to switch to workspace number two oh sorry uh, I'm using uh, alt and two alt and four alt and six so alt and eight like this so uh, and if I want to switch this window into my for example my uh, four workspace I can use uh, alt shift and four oh sorry alt shift and four and now it's in my four workspace which is theme and I can use alt and four to go to theme uh, to the four workspace and I can switch back to where it was it's eight workspace number 
8 which is here again as you can see and resize mode so in film you can uh, in i3 you can set mode like here so to switch into resize mode so this mode is not a uh, it's not there by default you made it so you make a new mode called resize and inside this resize mode you got a key binding to resize like this and after resizing you can press enter to return to the default mode or escape to return to the default mode and you do another bind sim to bind your alt shift and r into the uh, to go into resize mode so if i type in alt shift and r now i'm in res oh sorry r now i'm resize mode you can see it on top that this is i'm now in the resize mode and i can press like h j k l but it's not gonna work because there is no floating window so resize mode is only for floating window it will not work on this uh tight uh this uh what is this window called i always forget uh in this split window right so if to escape this recycle mode i can press enter or escape just like that now i'm returned to the default mode for game and to reload configuration file mode shift c to reload mode shift r to restart so uh, this is basically what you will do a lot if you are modifying your configuration file so if you have already modified it and you want to the effect uh, take place take effect so you just mode shift and r so it's now restarted in uh, i3 is now restarted so when you uh, you have any changes you make a changes in your configuration file it is not going to uh, take effect immediately but you will need to restart using this or reload using this so restart in place so preserve the layout or session so uh, this window will not close if you do this these windows are all will be closed and you will get a new session to exit i3 more shift and e you can exit yes exit or no and you will be back into your login screen of course i'm not going to do that and i also uh, make another mode called uh, mod system and mod system is this and i re i set the mod system to to the name of this here system l lock e l lockout so the reason is so that uh, as you know before it will list the uh, it will show you get the name of the mode here so if you make the name of the mode to like this and then whenever you go into this mode it will show you guys the information like system l lock and bind sim l e a r s to like this and you can also use your return and escape to return so as you can see here i also make it uh and actually this is uh, what I get in the default Manjaro i3 edition I just uh, use the code but uh, but they have something like suspend and hibernate and uh, which I don't use so I just remove them and by default uh, shut down or power off is using uh, s mod and s so I bind it to use S instead because, but uh, because I don't use suspend, so I just remove that that suspend and use the S for the shutdown. So I can see you. I saw you guys here. So Control Alt Delt. Now I am in the this mode. I am in System Lock Lockout Reboot Shutdown mode. And then I can press Escape Escape uh, to return to default mode like that but I can, and I can also if I press L then it will lock if I press E then it will uh, show me it, uh, it will lock me out like this and I also uh, alternatively I also can use OB lockout so I make it I bind it to use control alt N so control alt N this is the OB lockout and I will show you guys how to do this in the, the next part of this video of uh, the video uh, because it's uh, customization but. and the next uh, the next one is application shortcuts uh, this is what I do in the application shortcuts so I use mode and D to open terminal W to open chromium and stuff like that you can use uh, you can do it your own way 
and I also make a screenshot mode. I am using Scrot, so I set Scrot Capture to do this command: Scrot screenshot and stuff like this. So this is to make a screenshot with the name like this. A screenshot your Monday hour and minute dot png and e is to execute a command and execute the command to move that dollars uh, on f or f variable is the variable that scroll give you to the file that it uh, it it did it, it make and move it to desktop and then I set a mod screenshot to do this just like I did in the uh, locked out mode and then bind screen bind sim escape a uh, return or enter to screenshot a full screenshot and I will just show you guys uh, so uh, I press it so you can see I uh, bind print print screen key to uh, to go into mode screenshot so I, when I press print key now I'm in screenshot mode and I press enter as you can hear there is a sound because I am using PA play to play sound and then I use a notify send to send a notification here right and for a notification I'm using DUNSD if you want to know and then row P as the D menu replacement so by default you are use uh, i3 will give you D menu and the command by default is mod and D and I change it to mod and grief and I use Rofi instead of D menu because Rofi is a better looking one right you can see here right and alt tab also I am using Rofi so then you can alt tab like this right then the next part is workspace naming and placement so I rename my workspace so workspace number one is YouTube workspace number two is home you can see here I'm in workspace number uh, web so web is workspace number six and BIM is workspace number eight and I set one left and one right to set my monitor so this one left variable I set it to HDMI zero because this is my left monitor and this is my right monitor yours may might be very so we don't copy mine here and the workspace workspace placement so I make uh, workspace number one or YouTube to output on my left monitor so uh, workspace number one will always be my left mo in my left monitor and number two will always be my right monitor as you can see if I press all and two my home you can see it's here in my right monitor and if I press uh, all and one uh, it's on my left monitor which you cannot see right and like this that's all and auto store application <coughs> sorry <coughs> and this is the uh, auto start so uh, i3 in if you are using other desktop environment you can use your uh, your home folder and config auto start and put in uh, stuff like this the desktop file and it will auto start but this will not work in i3 i3 will not read these files so you will need to make it manually here so uh, whatever you want to uh, execute on the startup or your when your system boot, you can use exec. Exec is to execute, and no startup ID is to not showing a busy cursor. So if you open up a file and it's opening, you will see that this cursor is spinning, and no startup ID will not spin that cursor. And I open this up. So this is my auto start. Uh, this is my conky script and this is my numlock and this is all various for you for your own need you you don't need what I need but maybe sometimes you need to look at mine and copy so what you may need is like this need nitrogen to for your wallpaper but you can also use fa I don't know how to spell it and maybe you want Pemac tray if you are using Manjaro 
maybe you want to use Dropbox too. Alright. And then the next part is uh, maximum size is to set the maximum size so for example if I open up floating window here I can resize it to be as big as I want but it will max out like this it, 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 I cannot resize it no more because this is the uh, the max size of my monitor because I have ducks and stuff on the top so this is the max size so I cannot resize it anymore this will fit perfectly on my screen and I will not like overlap my left monitor and stuff like that right and new float pixel 1 this means that um, pixel 1 means that uh, it will just uh, put in one pixel on top of this uh, window so there will be no window title by default uh, I will just show you guys so if I change this to uh, border normal normal and I save this and I reload my i3 oops alright so I need to also switch change this uh, my new window to also set the normal but of course I'm not gonna do that <coughs> and the next part is uh, the window floating and placement by default so for windows window type so for window window type uh, dialog etc etc floating enable and border pixel 1 and stuff like this so I also switch I uh, change something like a uh, steam to move to workspace number four and layout tab <coughs> and move to workspace number three for SM player and stuff like that. So so uh, to know what is uh, the window class and stuff like that, you can use X prompt and you click in the window you want to know the uh, class and stuff like that. So you can see here this is Windows class WM, WM class and it stayed here GNOME terminal so if I want to uh, make this window float and stuff I can use for Windows class uh, GNOME terminal and I can do stuff on that like here for window no terminal titles theme move towards this number egg and focus so for example I'm here and I open terminal and then I do theme so now uh, uh, my workspace is moved uh, that window is moved to my theme workspace here as you can see so that's how you do that and focus so it will focus to this window immediately alright I think I need to restart my i3 because this is uh, this is I don't want this terminal I don't want the title there and for focus or prepping uh, force focus prepping yes uh, I don't really remember what is this for and focus follow mouse yeah you can note you can see that if I move my mouse to here my focus is here move my mouse here my focus is here all right focus on window activation urgent and so uh, whenever I open up a window uh, it will just show me urgent instead of uh, just focus in that window so I make it urgent and you can set urgent uh, so in order if you it is urgent you can you can see on the top here there will be not uh, there will be a uh, stuff uh, for you will need to set this urgent here so if it is urgent so I will so if the workspace is urgent you can set the color you want and 
I will show you guys uh, this stuff on my next uh, part of this video. Alright. So I think that's all. Uh, I hope this video helped you guys in knowing more about how to configure i3. And thanks for watching, guys. Please like my video if you like this. I know it's a little bit too long. It's 30 minutes already. And please subscribe if you want more videos from me. And I will see you guys on my next video, which is the part two of configuring i3 window manager. And have a nice day guys